And this is how it looks. New York, Brighton. Noisy, sleepless, overflowing with creative energy and crazy initiatives and ideas. When we call Brighton is the capital of Russian immigration in America, we mean Russian speakers from the former USSR who compactly reside in this area. Representatives from Eastern Europe, Caucasus, Middle Asia, Far East, those who fully got all the joys of the Soviet national policy and amenities of socialism and escaped from the first breach in the Iron Curtain and still escaping until. What these people are thinking about today and here from Brighton what would you tell your compatriots after many years in America? It is extremely important at the time of a coming election of New York man. This face looks familiar. Let's come close. Hello. Hello from New York, Brighton. My name is Irina Neyman. I'm an old-timer in this city and this country. I've been involved in different businesses, lastly I've been traveling most of the time, and after I returned to America, to New York, after seven years, I got into the center of public and political events currently happening in New York. 100 years ago, in our former model in Russia, the October Revolution was held, which practically deprived people from freedom of speech for 100 years. In this country, America, where the Constitution is the main law, we have the First Amendment, which gives people the right to express their thoughts, to have freedom of speech, as I said before. However, what I have come across here, it is a complete violation of the Constitution, the First Amendment. It does not work here in Russian community. Proof of this is the recent primaries held here. Many candidates were not able even to register for the reason that media did not submit and correct information and did not allow anybody to participate in these primaries. And now they play nice, promote exclusively our Mayor de Blasio, who has nominated himself for the second term. Interesting, if anybody heard about such individual named Bo Dittel. This is one of the candidates for the mayor of New York. He is an independent candidate. He is the first candidate in the history of our city who applied for the Russian community support. I personally met with Bob Deedle in Manhattan after he held press conference on the steps of the City Hall. I was impressed by his sacred belief in what he says. He speaks from his heart, and it is important what he says. He wants to get our city under real control. If not the policeman, who knows the real situation in the city of New York? Bo Deedle served in homicide for many years. He knows what is happening in the city, and he knows how to implement law and order. Law and order, this is what we are going to have in New York if he is elected the mayor. No corruption, no crime, to the extent it is possible to reduce them. It will be done. I strongly believe in what he says, because he did not read from the paper, nor read from his notes. He speaks out what he thinks, what he feels, and he is ready right now to start the fight with these vicious occurrences that are happening now in New York. Bordidol is fighting for the position of the mayor of our city of New York. He strongly believes that the city may exist without corruption, 
She is concerned with those who leave here without legal documents, and he promised to obtain legal documents for those who have been living here for many years and did not violate the law. He is defending Israel. Same at the end, Beetle. All I can say is that I call upon all my Jewish New Yorkers. My kids are Jewish, my ex wife Jewish. I call upon you. I support you. I support Israel. Big Bird de Blasio does not support Israel. We've seen it, and he said it. So please, when you come out to vote, liberals, conservatives, everyone in the Jewish community, I need you. I will be your mayor for this New York City. Everybody. Thank you. He advocates that people have less expensive and affordable housing. He is for us. He is not for those who rule the world, but for those who live in New York, down-to-earth people who work to provide for their families. He is our candidate, and I call on you to vote for him. He is a very prominent person in America. I'm sorry that our Russian community did not notice him. He is a successful businessman. He is an actor, producer. He wrote a screenplay for a Hollywood movie. And for Americans, Bo is a very prominent and favorite person. I would very much wish that Russian community come into the spotlight maybe for the first time in our entire history of being in America. Because usually nobody participates in the election, nobody wants anything, and nobody believes in anything. Now, Bo needs us, and we need Bo. Bo Diddle is the person I will vote for. I will vote for Bo Diddle. I trust him. I am absolutely sure that when he becomes the mayor, he will put the order in Russian media here and other media and will not allow corruption to stop people who want to make this world better. Those who wanted to register as candidates previously, those who will want to register as candidates later after presenting their problems, their agendas and showing what they would do for our beloved city. But a lot depends on us. The city needs us, and we need the city. Our candidate needs us, and we need candidate Bordido. That is why today we declare about creation of a new initiative civil liberties group with Anatoly Yasenik, who is the author of a remarkable book name, and with one of the initiators of this project, human rights activist Malka Shakhar who is well known in our community as a competent and smart politician. With your active support, our initiative group names will fight with the lawlessness that took over in our media and our community life.